All right, y'all, so we're back, man. And I think I've actually put my finger on what in particular has changed about the way that they talk about VB now. And when I say they, I mean the team in general, just David Yu, David Yu mainly. The, I think that David Yu is probably the biggest thing piece of the puzzle that's changed and why so many people are not as drawn to it. Because you have the Moon Boys and the Maxis and stuff like that, and they're just going to be old team VB no matter what. But when it comes down to how David Yu speaks and his whole entire approach to the project, it is actually changed. So he speaks more so from a place of reality, the drawbacks, the difficulties, the 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 struggle. He speaks from that place when before, when he was attracting all these people into the project, he was speaking from a place of his dreams, what he wanted to build, what he wanted to create, what he wanted VV to be. And now... I don't even think that he's he's at a place right now. He's at a place right now where he's not sure he can actually accomplish this. So he's it kind of it kind of shows. So like like let's let's look at this part right here. Um, uh, like what Will has built is that toy going into that metaverse where Vivi has built something that goes into AR um, and the, the showroom and and so on and. He said, that's all VV built. <laughs> he was trying to think about what VV's built. It's crazy that that's all that VV's built. I think they spend all their time just researching, not realizing that you have to work. You have to do things. You have to release things. Like, you can't just let regulation stop you from moving. Like, if it's going to be fees and fines, put that, put that away in the piggy bank, bro. Prepare for the fees. Pre pre prepare for the fines as long as you can put yourselves ahead but like as you can see when he's speaking about vv he's speaking about will has done this basically what will has done is what vv always promised that they would do they promised what they wanted to do like that's a part what will's built is a is a part of vv's dream but he doesn't talk about a dream anymore he's talking about the reality of what's been done and you know like and it's it's, it's really not much when it comes to vv when you look at it this way Everyone's still giving them credit for all the IP. David is one of the best licensors in the world. At 17, he convinced Al Alfred Khan to give him Pokemon. Like, come on now. He's one of the best licensors in the world. You don't get credit for doing what you have been doing your whole life. You get credit for being having the foresight to see that this would be profitable in this space and see that this could be a big thing. But VV has been good at one thing from the beginning, and it's something he's been good at his whole life. Where has VV grown when it comes down to development? Where has VV grown as a company, as a business? What have you accomplished that you wasn't already a specialist in? That's that's where it gets shaky with VV. What have you actually done? Because getting a new license is nothing. That's what you do. That's what you have done your whole life. And then you have Al Khan. Like, come on now. It's like, but anyway. Since it's very much focused in the digital collectible experience and both of them needs their utility right um so he he said that they're focused on the experience but now more projects is coming up with the experience and the thing that scares me about vv potentially is that i think other projects once regulation comes and stuff like that like right now vv is fighting this tough battle because they have to wait for everything but it's going to become a time where regulation will be clear at that point in time, I think that that's when other projects or other companies will probably jump into the space and they'll know exactly what they can and can't do. So they'll be able to just breeze through things that VB is struggling to get through right now. And I think that that's when you, you'll have to worry about some competition. But luckily, I mean, no company has been able to survive against VB so far. Like VB has been the only one. So the sole survivor doing what they're doing. So, I mean, that 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 is bullish, but... You know, you never know with them taking forever to accomplish things. And I get it. I get why they're taking forever to accomplish things. But I'm just saying, people with money ain't going to stop having money just because BB is taking forever. So they come in throwing that money around. Somebody can come and be recur, but do it the right way. Yeah, like what Will has built is that toy going into that metaverse where VV has built something that goes into AR um, and the, the showroom and, and so on. And we want to bring more utility value to both side of our business. Um, yeah, we that sim simplifies uh, is yes, and everything that you do in the Web three, it's all about that utility, and that's what people talk about.
And it's great to hear David say that it's all about utility because that's not something that you hear from collectors that often. You hear these collectors say, oh, this doesn't have to do nothing. That don't have to do nothing. This is bullish for me because coming from the CEO's mouth, he understands that this space is about utility. So a lot of the people invested in VV and holding the collectibles and things like that, I think a lot of it is just coping, to be honest, but they don't realize the why the space exists in the first place. They're just, oh, we have this new collectibles, not realizing that to them, this is just, an, to, to, to the rest of the world, this is an inferior, everything VV has built is just inferior to what Fortnite gives away for $10. Like it's it's inferior to Fortnite in every way. And for just ten dollars, you can get some of the same things and actually do things with it. It has utility. VV, VV is nothing in comparison. It fails. So a lot of people what I'm glad to see, like I said, I'm glad to see that in moments like this, you can see that he has not actually lost sight of the space. He understands the space. And the vision is probably still there. I just hate how they're scared to speak on things because it makes things worse. I wish that he would speak more. They would speak more on on more things that's important and in the right way. It's ways to speak about things without... You're going to get hate either way. So why not speak on what you're planning to do? At least what they promised a lot of stuff, but at that point in time, that's when the community was the most inspired and happy to be a part of this community. That's when it had the most people happy to be a part of this community. Yeah, it's taken a while, but they don't talk about, they talk about what is now. They don't talk about what will be. What will be is what sold everyone, but you don't ever, you don't, like, they, they've changed in a sense where they don't speak about what they want to do. I don't need any guarantee that you'll ever do it. I need to know where your mind's at, where your head's at, because if you're thinking that direction, I know that even if you don't make it to where you're thinking, that's the direction you're going in. So maybe you can't make it to the moon. But you can land among the stars, you know that famous quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, like, like, so it can give us some, some idea that you still have that vision. You still know where you're going. Like that's what the community is lacking right now. Like you got the the so-called moon boys who's really scared, shitting themselves because they over leveraged and shit like that. And you have other people who just completely have no faith. It's like people miss the old team, the old David, the way that they used to move. That's that's what that that was the glue that kept everybody together. They kept everything calm. Um, I know that it was a bunch of jokes and memes and stuff like that and soons and all of that, but the community was a lot happier and better when it was a bunch of soons than it is now when it's a bunch of reality. This was the place where it was Ready Player One, a place where dreams come true and stuff like that. This was not about reality. This was about love and passion and, and people getting IPs and stuff that reminds them of their childhood that reminds them of the past. Like Vivi was something special to so many people because it took us back, nostalgia. And, and, and even more so for collectors because you're thinking about comic book days, getting your first comic book as a kid with a loved one, maybe your dad, maybe someone who's no longer here who got you into it. Like it's a whole lot of memories that Vivi triggers for so many people. But now every single day, everyone is faced with the reality, Vivi's not delivering. We don't know what's going on. We hope that this is going to come. We have conviction. I don't care how much conviction someone says they have. It's not easy to keep conviction in this type of terrain. It's not easy to keep up that conviction. It doesn't matter what someone says. What helps people stay level-headed and keep conviction towards something like this is the them knowing that you still have the proper intent for, and you still want to accomplish what you said you wanted to accomplish. And sometimes people need a reminder of that. Like, just like, it's like a relationship. If your partner doesn't show you that they love you or tell you they love you and you all don't communicate about certain things every now and again, the feelings can start to fade. You can start to feel a lot more distant in a relationship. Any relationship works the same way. You start being all secretive, you, people gonna think you cheating. That's what it is. So why would it be any different with something like this? And I know that people like to sit here and compare Vivi to other businesses. Well, name another business in the space. You don't know what you're doing if you think other businesses do this. It's not about what other businesses do. It's about what Vivi started out doing and what got them to where they are today. They are here today because they were a specific type of business that stood out to every other business. Now all these clowns in the community justifying Vivi being like every other business, every other business didn't come out accomplishing what Vivi accomplished. 
No other business did what VB did. So you want them to be like the other businesses that they were shitting on. And now that they're becoming like the other businesses they were shitting on, they're looking like a shitty business. And no one's putting the pieces together, making the connection as to why they're looking so bad now. I mean, listen, it, it seems pretty obvious to me, but what do I know? I'm just the, the moon boy who switches back and forth between being a moon boy, a hater, and all this stuff. It, it couldn't be that I'm just a logical, very reasonable person who good shit happens, and I speak on that, and I give my opinions on the good, and then bad shit happens, and I give honest and, and logical opinions on the bad as well. Like, I don't, I don't see something bad and be like, yeah, yeah, guys, but this is the good part of that. Like, even though a bunch of people lost money because Vivi's incompetent, it, uh, well, if those tokens are gone forever, it's better for the Omi token. Like, really? That's what y'all reduced to? And y'all want to sit here and judge me? Like, that's amazing. It, it amazes me. It, it really amazes me that this is what people do. But it is what it is. Like, that ain't, that, that ain't my business, you know? I'm just... I'm just a humble investor. All right, so it looks like they're moving on to the next topic here. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. This this was I just wanted to really talk about the the VB, the VB vision, where this was going and and what I think changed with David Yu and changed with the company that's really it's really holding the the potential of this company back. Well, not the potential, the potential is there. It's going to go where it's going to go, but it's it's causing unnecessary unease in the community. It's separating the community in ways that the community don't have to be separated. Like, it is absolutely ridiculous for a company to go from hundreds of thousands of users to lose as many people as VV has. It's not the bear market. It's not any of this stuff because VV was about fun. It's not that. The team is what's changed. The vision of the project has changed, and then the team has become more secretive and and less communicative communicative is that the word? is that a word like you know what i'm saying this this the whole everything that made us all fall in love with the project is either changed or is very different than it used to be and this team does not move in the same way that they used to move so you got these maxis who's making everybody else like people anybody who criticizes this project a bunch of people attack them like that's not how it was. We used to want to educate people. We used to want to bring people in. We used to want to, when Gary V came at the project, we wanted to talk to him and educate him. When people was like, what's changed is the community. What's changed is the leadership, which has trickled down to the community, which has trickled down to everybody being segregated at this point in time. People need to start focusing on the big picture and realize that in order to change the state of things and change the energy, change the community, you have to change yourselves. Everyone has to change within themselves. Move a different way. Move in a more positive light. Understand an opposing point of view. Address that opposing point of view from a place of love and, and tr pure intentions to educate and share your perspective. Have that conversation. People just sit around on high horses trying to bash one another, both looking like idiots because you're both on two different high horses and either one of you could be right. It's like, why are you trying to speak superior to un each other instead of trying to understand one another? It's it's dumb, if you ask me, but welcome to being human, I guess. But th there we have it, man. We'll end the video there. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.